American sanctions have hit the Iranian economy hard. Iran's oil exports have halved. Its economy has shrunk by 4%. The inflation rate is at an all-time high. European exports to buy efforts rather to bypass these sanctions have failed. Iran is left with no option, it seems. Its last hope is to threaten to violate the nuclear deal. So has Tehran been pushed to the wall? Our West Asia correspondent Daniele Pagani reports. Washington's strategy of maximum pressure on Iran is hitting very hard. Since the U.S. unilaterally withdrew from the landmark 2015 nuclear deal in May 2018, Iran has been facing an ever-growing economic crisis. Oil exports, Iran's main source of revenues, have halved, and the country's economy shrunk by 4% amid a growing inflation rate. Many international companies have left. Iran has shown restraint for a year, abiding anyway by the nuclear deal, hoping that the European Union would find a way to bypass US sanctions. But it didn't happen. And Washington's pressure did not stop. On the contrary, it soared. More American troops are moving to West Asia and sanctions have become harsher. Pushed to the wall, Iran had only two options to surrender to Trump's pressure or to use all its energy to fight back. And Iran's supreme leader cleared all doubts. Reacting is also the only way President Rouhani has to survive on Iran's political stage. His cabinet witnessed the record number of resignations in 40 years and the military establishment, whose support is vital to govern Iran, is growing restive and demanding more action. Iran will restart enriching uranium and stockpiling it beyond the deal's limit. But these are not the only leverages Tehran can pull. It can increase risks for oil tankers in the Persian Gulf to hit the global oil trade and rise crude prices. Iranian troops in Syria can pose a threat to the US contingent and to Washington's main regional ally, Israel which, by the way, is also threatened by Iran's main proxy in the region, the well-armed Lebanese militia Hezbollah. In Iraq, home to thousands of American troops, Iran controls several militias ready to launch attacks. In Yemen too, Tehran supports the Houthi rebels against the US-backed Gulf coalition. And citing economic difficulties, Iran may cut on security patrols on the Afghan border. By reacting with pressure to pressure, Tehran is betting hard on the fact that the United States has no real intention of starting a war. Beside Israel, President Donald Trump would in fact have a hard time finding military partners for this campaign. Plus, he won the presidency also on the promise of ending America's wars, not of starting new ones. But Iran's is a risky assumption, giving Trump's record of turning the tables. As of now, the action-reaction mechanism between Iran and the United States of America only made the West Asian region more tense and more fragile, which is exactly the opposite of what Donald Trump guaranteed the world when he said that he wanted a nuclear-free Iran and that whatever pressure he was exercising was to have as an ultimate result a stable West Asia. Daniele Pagani reporting from Jordan for Vion World is One.